All right, Eric, I'm a miracle baby defying all odds after being born prematurely and spending more than 100 days in the hospital. Yeah, the boy's mother now sharing her gratitude at one South Florida hospital for saving her son's life. Sam's Lynn Martinez has their incredible story. Um, I always say that I see many, many miracle stories at Jackson. Um, never did I think that I would be one of them. Meet two-year-old Joseph Patrick, nicknamed JP. His family describes him as a vibrant and curious baby, but he's had a long journey. Um, we thought it was gonna be a regular pregnancy. We didn't think we would meet any bumps along the road, but very early on, we discovered that things um, weren't Ideal. It all started when Patricia Fusco found out she wasn't able to have children. Ever since I was in high school, I knew that I couldn't have kids. My best friend, Katrina Wegman, offered to be our surrogate. Katrina, who already had two children of her own, expected it would be another easy pregnancy. But it turned out to be anything but. At 23 weeks, she suffered from terrible headaches and high blood pressure. It's a very scary situation to be in. As a Jackson Health System employee, she knew firsthand and the quality of care at Jackson's NICU. Katrina was admitted, and that's when she was diagnosed with preeclampsia, a potentially dangerous pregnancy complication associated with high blood pressure. Two weeks later, doctors also found the placenta was no longer providing critical nutrition to the baby. That's when everyone came together to make a difficult decision. So that day, we all sat together with Dr. Judella. I will never forget that day being in Katrina's uh, hospital room and made the decision to bring Joseph into this world. On May 27th, 2021, at 25 weeks and five days old, JP was born weighing just one pound, four ounces. But it would be a long time before he would be able to go home. Uh, and on September 24th, 2021, uh, Joseph came home after 123 days. It's stories like JP's that established the One Day for Jackson, a day dedicated to raising funds for Jackson Health System so they can continue to help save lives. Today, JP continues to grow and thrive. His family grateful for their miracle baby. I have the blessing of getting to celebrate my miracle, Joseph Fusco, every single day of my life. The Jackson Health Foundation will be hosting various events for One Day for Jackson on April 4th. All proceeds go toward funding more miracles just like JP's. For more information, head to our website, WSBN.com. At the news desk, Lynn Martinez, 7 News, today in Florida. That's a miracle, yeah, without that. a doubt. Good stuff.